And we risk uh, hitting a tipping point in our society where we have more takers than makers in society, where we will have turned our safety net into a hammock that lulls able-bodied people to lives of dependency and complacency, which drains them of their will and incentive to make the most of their lives. President Obama's policies are feverishly putting more people into the column of being takers than makers, being more dependent. His policy two weeks ago of, of trying to waive the work requirements for welfare, his policies of, 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 of increasing welfare dependency um, without transitioning people back to work are part and parcel of a plan that creates a permanent class of government dependence among able-bodied citizens. That is not the American idea. That's a welfare state. Um, it might make everyone more equal, which I think the president believes the goal of government is to equalize outcomes versus equalize opportunity, but we'll all be more equally miserable under these kinds of policies. And so I think we are in kind of a contest or a race of time, so to speak, where we're going to either have a taker society or a maker society. We believe in an opportunity society. We believe in a society of open mobility. We believe in a safety net that is there to help people who truly cannot help themselves and help people who are down on their luck get back on their feet into lives of self-sufficiency so they can make the most of their lives, tapping their potential. That's what we believe in. What the president is trying to do is he's trying to suggest that his political opponents are people who don't care about anybody, who has, believe in sort of this Hobbesian state of nature, a dog eat dog society, that if anybody wants any security in their lives, stick with him. Uh, it's a caricature, it's a straw man argument, it's a, it's a false dichotomy. And so what I think the president is trying to do is create more of a permanent class of government dependence. That's not America. Our rights come from nature and God, according to the Declaration of Independence. They don't come from government. But if we're going to give government the kind of power to grant and define our rights, then government has more power in and over our lives than we ever designed it to have in this country, than our veterans fought for, than our founders founded. And so I would argue that, philosophically speaking, this is one of the most profound elections we will have ever had in this country because we really are choosing one of two different paths. And I believe we have a really good chance of reclaiming a vision and principles true to our nation's founding that gets America back on top as being that great opportunity society, that shining city on the hill, that society of upper mobility where everybody can make it. That's what we're all about. We believe in equality of opportunity, not the president's agenda of equality of outcome in a government-run society. That's the big difference in this election. And I think that's, that's why it's really kind of a race in time on this front.